All right, guys, this little Kaba is from David out in, out in Boise, Idaho. Uh, you can see I've picked this and I've gotten trapped. There's no key for this. I've tried pushing all the pins back, but of course, one uh, I'm sure what's happened is there's some holes drilled in the side of the core, and there's probably a uh, couple of master wafers in there. They got I picked it to the master wafer, and then when I rotated it, the T-pins probably jammed into the core in place. That's probably what's happened. Um, I can't pick it back. The only way if this were in a door to solve it, of course, would be to drill it. I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to try to, I'm going to disassemble it. I'm going to pop that tape off, dump the pins onto a tray, and let's see what David has done to trap us. All right, guys, this is a very cool system, and I feel so stupid because this was actually recoverable. First of all, on the body of the lock, nothing. There's nothing. It's completely stock. There's no trickery involved in the body at all. Uh, likewise in the pins. The pins, no trickery. These are all standard pins. No T-pins to get caught into slots at all. All the springs are the same. No security pins. No nothing. The beauty of this and the true trickery is built right into this core. Now you'll notice we got three little cutouts. We got one here, here, and then if you pick it clockwise, you, these two will... Yeah, kind of screw you. And if you pick it counterclockwise like I did, this is the one that screws you. Now, I got no key with this. Now, first of all, these are not spring-loaded. So let's assume that we slide the key in, and these slots are cut all the way down the side of the lock, and they go right into the bottom of the keyway. So if there were a key inside of the keyway, these little bars could not be pushed down because the key would prevent that. Let me push that dude back up. So when I turned it clockwise, even though the driver was under spring pressure, that little bar would prevent it from going into the slot. If, however, someone is picking the lock and there is no key in the keyway and they're unaware of the system, like I was, uh, this is not a, being held in place. So the pressure from the driver, uh, spring on the driver, will then push that down and he gets caught right there. And if you're picking it clockwise, which is probably more common, and that's why they put two of them, same kind of deal. These two little guys will push down, and you get trapped with two driver pins. So you're not going any further. Now, contrary to what I said, uh, you don't have to drill this one out to recover it. All you need to do, first of all, you're going to know that you've been picked because your, your uh, core is going to be turned 45 degrees one way or the other. So you're going to know you've been picked, and the way you recover it is you simply slide your key in there, and the key will then, through the keyway, push that little guy, it's down the side of there, but it'll push that little guy right back up, overcome the spring pressure on the driver, release him from the trap, and it'll be back in business. Ingenious. Now, if you know these are there, you can pick it, I would probably do what I did, pick it counterclockwise when you get caught in the trap, reach down the keyway, push that little detent back up, and then it'll allow you to pick it. But if you don't know it, like I didn't, you are trapped, and you are trapped good. Anyway, whipped by another one of David's locks, the Kaba Challenge Lock. Anyway, David, thank you, sir. I've never seen this design, but now that we know about it, next time we see it, hopefully we'll remember it. Anyway, thanks, guys. Appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Stay legal.